Hey everyone, Javert Valbar here for InscapeDigital.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at FX Home's new product, HitFilm 3 Express. So now, as with the previous two major versions of HitFilm, you can choose the software that fits your needs. However, unlike HitFilm Standard and HitFilm 2 Express, HitFilm 3 Express is free. It includes all of the editing functionality and the core 2D 3D layer compositor. If you prefer to read about this information in text, I have a new blog post on my website covering most of the stuff here. The most interesting feature of this new program is the ability to purchase add-on features. Let's go over the numerous packs available and their price points. You can find this list at hitfilm.com store and then click on Express. These packs add functionality and effects to the base Express software. So starting at the lowest price point here, which is $10, we have the starter pack. This includes different effects for color grading, titling, and motion graphics like 3D extrusion, color correction wheels, exposure, half-tone color, and split-screen masking. Next up we have premium formats. This one's important if you want to edit with Dolby AC3 or ABC HD or MPEG2 footage. You have to download this in order to be able to edit those. The audio visual pack, which includes the audio spectrum and waveform patterns. If you haven't seen Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot's advanced spin effects tutorial, he uses the spectrum and waveform effects in a very cool and unique way. Moving up to the next price point here, which is $24.99, you can get the Colorist Pack, which has a variety of color correction effects like Vibrance, Curves, which is probably the correction tool I use most, and Color Vibrance, which lets you add color to black and white motion graphics. Next up is the Damage Pack. In this one we have Lens Dirt, which is useful for adding realism to CG shots, film and TV damage, and stutter, which can help you create some glitchy effects. Then we have the Destruction Pack for action movies. You have Blood Spray, Fire, Heat Distortion, Lightning, Shake, which can also be added to CG shots, and of course several presets for muzzle flashes. Next up we have the Film Looks Pack, which is useful for color grading your final shot. The Repair Pack, so here we have rolling shutter fixes and tools for fixing skin or grain removal. The Pro Light Flares Pack, which includes the anamorphic and regular lens flares. These can be used in a variety of ways. Atmospheric Lighting includes auto volumetrics and light leaks, as well as light rays, light streaks. These can really help create the overall look of your product. And the last $24.99 pack here is the Sci-Fi Adventure. This includes the new animated lasers effect, light swords, sci-fi title crawl, and hyperdrive. Next up you can buy Mocha Hit Film for $59.95. You can use this for planar tracking or rotoscoping. And the last price point that we have here is $100. You can get the Particle Simulator Pack, which I use all the time if you've seen any of my tutorials. It's very useful and can be customized a variety of ways depending on what you're looking for. This includes atomic particles as well. And last we have the 3D Models Toolkit. This includes the ability to import and animate 3D models, the environment map effect, which allows you to wrap it around your world. Also includes the 3D Projector and Parallax. If you buy several packs and then decide to upgrade to HitFilm 3 Pro later, there will be a discount on the price. One of the questions I see most often so far is, what is the difference between HitFilm 3 Express and HitFilm 3 Pro? And is there a comparison chart available? The chart is at the bottom of the store page. I would recommend Express to someone who is either starting out doing editing or visual effects, or just not willing to spend $300 on software yet. The ability to buy packs lets you customize Express to your price point. HitFilm 3 Pro includes everything. Another question I've been seeing is the difference between HitFilm 2 Ultimate, which is the previous version of the software, and HitFilm 3 Express. I'm going to copy Simon Jones's answer from the forum here. HitFilm 3 Express's lineage can be traced back through HitFilm 2 Express and HitFilm Standard, whereas HitFilm 3 Pro evolved out of HitFilm 2 Ultimate. So 3 Express isn't as powerful as 2 Ultimate in terms of raw features, but it is based on the core foundation of 3 Pro, with all the inherent improvements that came along with it, such as editor features, stability, and all that. Now what you should not do right now is download HitFilm 3 Express and then buy all of the packs. This will end up costing nearly $200 more than just getting Pro. There are basically going to be three types of Express users. The first is the person who downloads only Express and never buys any of the packs, which is totally fine, up to you. The second is the user who buys a few of the packs based on what they're looking for and what they need for their projects. And the third is the user who buys some of the packs and eventually decides to upgrade to Pro. 
But that's all the information I have for now on HitFilm 3 Express. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also tell me if you plan on getting Express and which of the three users you'll likely turn out to be. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next tutorial.